All right, so in this video, we are going to talk about another kind of animation. This time, we're going to talk about fading animation. So I went ahead and created a few things already. So we're still inside of our project here. So you notice I created another folder inside of our res file here. It says anim for animation. And I added this fade in animation that XML. Okay, so what this does here, we have a set. And inside of this set of XML, we have this alpha tag here. Okay, and this alpha tag has a few properties. The first property is the duration. So how long this animation will take? Okay, it's going to be 3000 milliseconds, so which is three seconds. And then we have from alpha zero, the alpha property controls whether an item is visible or invisible. Okay, so zero is invisible and one is fully visible. So that's the range for alpha. Okay, so zero invisible and 0 0.5 is a little bit of visible, 0 0.7, a little bit more, and one is fully visible. So the idea here is that we're going through zero, the alpha is going to be zero and goes through till it's all fully visible. The interpolator here. So this, what this does is we have Android has different kinds of of fading, if you, if, you, if you will, okay? So the fading that I added here is the accelerate interpolator. So we can actually go and find different kind of um, fading, okay? So if you start typing here, you can see there's a different kinds you can go ahead and play with. Uh, we can just go even go with this this anticipate overshoot interpolator, okay? Something like that. So, so now we have this set here. So this is what is going to be used in our code to actually run the fade, the fade animation. Right? And you'll notice also I went ahead and made a few changes here in our uh, main activity. Commented out our previous code here because all we need really is the image view, which we go back here. We have our image view. And I went ahead and added the source to point to B1. So now we are going to be showing just the b1 which is the image of our bat okay and the next thing i did of course inside of our handler here here i added a few pieces of code so what i did here i instantiated the animation class now it's an object and i invoked the load animation okay it passes in the context okay and then i also pass in where is this animation object going to find the actual animation xml file well it's going to go to r animation fading animation so it's going to go and get our uh, set here okay our xml file that has all of the logic that we need for in order for us to animate our item our bat okay and of course then i invoke bat image which is our bat image image view here okay and what say and then i say start animation and i pass in the start animation object okay and so i I made, went ahead and changed this to 50 milliseconds, so it won't take that long uh, for this to run. That's really it, very easy. Let's go ahead and give it a run. And there we go, so if we tap anywhere, we should see that happening, so you see? You tap, it fades out, and, and oh, look at that. So it goes to zero and go all the way back to, all right. Very nicely done. All right, so not, not bad, I don't think. So one thing I need to remember is that uh, you have to create this animation or anim folder inside of a resource here. So what do you do? Say right click, new, Android resource directory. That's what we, we want. And then you put the name and you should be set. Okay. All right. Congratulations. Go ahead and play around with this. Obviously you can put any other object or any other image into Drawable and you can, then you can reference it here. Okay, you can go and find an image of a person or an orange and put under drawable here and then reference here okay in our image view and then this also will do the same will still run all right so if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask and i'll see you in the next video